Since April, the government has failed to file an extension for the mandatory 14-day quarantine period in a GovGuam facility for arriving passengers. This week, Guam attorneys Rachel Zuzu, Jackie Terlahi, and Tom Fisher filed a handful of petitions against the government and DPHSS in local court on behalf of quarantined individuals alleging their civil liberties are being violated. The most recent case involves resident and Guam clinic employee Janella Cruz, who was picking up her two children traveling in from Saipan. On September 7th, upon arrival, Cruz and the two minors were taken to a Gov Guam quarantine facility. Representing Cruz, attorney Azuzu says the mother was only on the airport premises and was, quote, kidnapped. Court documents state, quote, respondents instructed Janella and her sons to sign the form or in the alternative be separated from her children, unquote. Cruz's hearing is set for tomorrow, September 17th at 3 p.m. in Judge Elise Iriarchi's courtroom. And while more passengers seek answers and a release for home quarantine, a recent court ruling on similar matters heard in a case last week determined passenger quarantine in a facility is in line with CDC guidelines, but ordered the government to file a written directive and to present passengers with a copy of their rights by September 4th. According to Azuzu, a petition for the written directive has yet to be filed on behalf of the government, and rather the Office of the Attorney General filed a motion for an ex parte, asking the court to reconsider their decision. According to court documents, the government argues the court committed error by disregarding Public Law 31-247, which grants legal authority for the government to uphold quarantine voluntarily. Documents state the court ignored subsections of the law that include subsection A, that isolation and quarantine shall be imposed in accordance with regulations, and subsection B, the regulation shall also provide for isolation and quarantine voluntary and involuntary for the known incubation period as determined by the CDC of any communicable disease which is critically dangerous to public health and safety. Additionally, the government argues the court erred in ordering DPHSS to pay petitioners attorneys fees and cost as they are privately retained counsel. For this matter, the court placed a stay until the motion is resolved. Judge Iriarty set the motion hearing for September 25th at 1.30 p.m. We should add a class action lawsuit is underway in district court. According to attorney Azuzu, it includes previous quarantine passengers that suffered a due process violation. Azuzu says, quote, six months time is too much time to ask public health to come up with procedures to protect people's liberties, unquote. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero.